Hi everyone, Charles here sharing with you a review of the Innovate Rocklight G275. Innovate calls the Rocklight G275 the Swiss Army knife of trail running shoes. But as someone who wouldn't trust a Swiss Army knife for anything other than wine bottle opening, I'd take that claim a step further. The G275 is a Leatherman multi-tool for your feet. It is rugged and versatile, ready for just about any conditions and demands you might put it through. To really test the extreme ends of what the G275 can hold up to, I took it out on everything from tempo runs in the mud, to short recovery runs in public parks, to distance runs along frozen ridge lines up in the mountains, and I've been consistently impressed with just how well the shoe works in such a wide range of different paces, surfaces, and weather conditions. Innovate's motto is get a grip, and despite my best efforts, I haven't been able to find an environment where the G275 can't get a grip. A couple of hikers I passed on the ascent were wearing uh, crampons, but I'm running pretty confidently. This nice grip and graphy outsole. I'm gonna self belay here. Not really what these shoes are made for, but let's test them out as improvised climbing shoes. Back to the descent here. Innovate does make shoes for ice and snow, but why not test these out in the worst possible conditions? I'm gripping perfectly in this ice and snow, so if I'm getting this good a grip here, they're going to hold up pretty much anywhere. And as you can tell from the fact that I'm recording this, even going down a sheer icy face, that grip worked just fine. As you can tell by the comparison photos here of the non-graphene Rocklight 275 in blue next to the G275 in red, both of which have about 50 miles of wear in the photo, the durability that that graphene adds is clearly noticeable. The Leatherman multi-tool metaphor applies to the Rocklight G275's durability too. After 50 miles of wear, the shoe looks and feels almost identical to being fresh out of the box. As an extreme illustration, it might be noted that ultra runner Jasmine Paris won a 268 mile rugged trail race wearing a single pair of the G275s for the entire course, while other runners were swapping out their shoes multiple times. To get into the technical details for a moment, the G in G275 stands for graphene, which is a super lightweight form of carbon infused with the outsole rubber that increases its durability while cutting weight. I've always thought Innovate has had the grippiest outsole on the market by a good order of magnitude. And they definitely raised the bar again with this addition of graphene. But here's the thing. I never felt like the outsole durability was the problem with Innovate. I've always found the midsole material and the upper wear out faster than the outsole. It's such a minimalist, low stack height, when that midsole cushioning is gone, it's really gone. I've also found the uppers tends to stretch out a little bit. So I'm sure the outsole is going to outlive the midsole and the upper. We'll see how the overall durability stacks up. So as cool as that graphene infusion is, I'm not sure that it's really necessary. I'd much rather see durability in the midsole material and in the upper. To go into a bit more detail on the upper, the multi-tool metaphor applies to the G275's versatile fit and feel which is relatively accommodating and will work well for a wide range of different foot shapes. For the many runners that find Solomon trail shoes a bit snug, the G275 will be a welcome relief. It has space for toes to splay and feet to swell, but never feels loose or sloppy when running over technical terrain. That said, the upper on the G275 is the one part of the shoe that doesn't feel nearly perfect. Innovate takes pride in designing their shoes from the ground up, starting with a purpose-built outsole, then designing the midsole on top of that, and then crafting the upper. This has advantages in delivering the best, grippiest outsoles on the market and remarkable midsoles, but it often leaves Innovate's uppers feeling like afterthoughts. 
the upper on the G275 certainly isn't bad. It just doesn't feel quite as finely crafted as the shoe's midsole and outsole. The upper is awkwardly a little loose in the heel and midfoot, while weirdly pointy in the toe box, and has a smidgen too much padding in the tongue, which causes it to crimp up a bit around the ankle. Again, the upper isn't dramatically off in any way, it just lacks the refinement of the rest of the shoe. My only other critique of the Rocklight G275 is a matter of personal preference. If you're like me, you prefer to have a few different pairs of shoes on hand to specialize for unique conditions of the day, in which case a generalist like the Rocklight G275 isn't necessarily an optimal choice, as other, more niche options might be. To overuse and abuse the metaphor, you might have a survival knife, a screwdriver set, and a hatchet to choose from, rather than relying on a single multi-tool for a wide range of different tasks. As an example, the Innovate Trail Talon 235 is essentially a mirror image of the Rocklight G275, but noticeably lighter with a more breathable and flexible upper, only sacrificing a smidgen of cushion and a bit of durability owing in large part to the fact that the Trail Talon 235 isn't yet sold with the new graphene outsole, although I suspect that upgrade is in the pipeline. Meanwhile, Innovate shoes like the X-Talon 200 are lighter with better wet ground grip, and the Terra Ultra 260 is also lighter with significantly more cushioning for ultra-distance runs. So if you can afford to specialize, the Rocklight G275 may not be the best pick. But if you are looking for a one-trail shoe to handle any conditions you might throw at it that will hold up for the long haul, then the Rocklight G275 is a really good bet. So that's about it for this video review. If you have unanswered questions, check out my exhaustively long-winded written review of the Rocklight G275 at runrepeat.com. I go into excruciating detail that I didn't want to bore everyone with in this video, but my fellow shoe nerds out there might find it interesting. And keep your eyes open, a review of the waterproof Gore-Tex version of this shoe called the Innovate G315 GTX is coming your way soon. As always, I hope this review was helpful, thanks for watching, and happy trails.